gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at three flavors that were sent on to me by WizardsBlend.com. But you know how we roll, peeps. We're going to pull up to the website, we're going to get some pricing information. Then we're going to come back here and have ourselves a big three flavor vape bar session. Let's hit that website. And welcome to the brief online tutorial for Wizards Blend Premium E Juice. Let's go check out their main website. You can find Wizards Blend at wizardsblend.com. And this is the main website. can see that they have um, tobacco flavors, menthol flavors, wizards flavors, beverage temptations, fruity magic, the black castle drip line. But we came here to get some pricing information. So the wizards regular line, which is the wizards blends, comes in only 15 mil amber drop bottles. Now you can get those in Nick strengths of 0, 06, 12, 18, and 24 for $10. And those come in a 55, 45 PGVG. Now the Black Castle Drip Line comes in 30 mil amber drop bottles, which you can get in Nick strengths of. 0, 03 and 6 for $18. Now, the Black Castle drip line comes in a 2080 PGVG where it's a high VG. And that'll do it for the brief online tutorial for Wizards Blend a Premium E Juice. Now, back to the review. Before I start, I must point out I did receive these free of charge for purpose of conducting a review. But my opinion of the products will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. Okay, so the first two we're going to start out with is from the Black Castle Drip Line. And this is pretty much what the label looks like. You've got a Black Castle, and then you've got the name of the e-liquid, which is currently at 6 milligrams. And this is Excalibur, and it has a born-on date of January 10th. Now I have that loaded up in my Aqua 2 which I have dual microcoil to 4.7 or 2.47 ohms. I gotta get the words out the mouth. And then I have that on my Celt mod in hybrid mode. Open this airflow up a little bit more. And we'll have a beat. Mm. This is really good. This is like a green apple with some peach and some strawberry. Almost tastes like there's a tad bit of orange in there too, but I could be I could it could be the green apple throwing me off because a bit a little bit of sourness to it, you know. All right, so flavor profile on this, I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. Is this all day vape worthy? Well, not personally to me. And the reason why is because 
it's got that little bit of sourness in there and that's the reason why I don't like green apple leaves but it's still good enough that I could enjoy it to break up the monotony of maybe other stuff throughout the day <clears throat> now throw hit on this I give it a mild which is 6 out of 10 and of course vapor production I give it a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it now this next one here is called Witch's Blood and I have that loaded up in my Drizzit mod which is from Poland uh, Polish mod maker quit making this uh, he quit making mods about a year and a half ago so this is kinda retro vaping and I have my Igo L uh, on top of it that is uh, Mega Microcoil to 1.2 ohms so we'll be firing this at 5 volts okay now this this is definitely an all-day vape right here which is blood is a mixture of berries you've got raspberry blackberry and strawberry killer combination um, I'm gonna give the flavor profile on this one a 9 out of 10 throw hit I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. That's my mild. And vapor production, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. Now, this is from the regular Wizards Blend line. You can see there it says Wizards Blend Premium Juice. If I can get it to clear up some, it would be helpful. There we go. Now, on the side there, you got some warnings and of course it says Merlin smoke and wizardsblend.com and I have that loaded up in my smoke RDA which is uh, microcoiled to 1.2 ohms and I have it ooh and I'm dripping liquid all over the place here that must have over dripped I have it loaded up on my eye stick, which will be firing it at 20 watts. Mm. Ooh, I like this one. This is really good. Now, Merlin Smoke, I've read up, is supposed to be the closest thing to a real cigarette. But I'm not getting that. What I'm getting is, is like the original classic style of RY4, which is supposed to be tobacco vape with just a, like a, like a heaping, well, heaping, like a, it's like a splash or, you know, like a spoonful of, uh, caramel added to it um, and that's what I'm getting because I'm getting sweetness off of this so it's definitely all day vapor really. now the flavor profile that I'm going to give on this one is a 9 out of 10 sorry I'm just enjoying it Whew, and look at the vapor damn got some killer vapor production. Uh, throw hit, I'm going to give that a mild, which is a 6 out of 10. And vapor production, <laughs> I think uh, this little doodad here is saying give it a 10 out of 10 for vapor production. So, there you have it, my peeps. That's 3 from wizardsblend.com you can also find them on Facebook and to the owner of Wizards Blend wow you know what would be nice 
is, and I've read through some of your stuff, custard, custard, and uh, some kind of a fruity menthol. That would be awesome. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube, and as always, my peeps and peepettes, happy vaping.